The thermochemical conversion process uses heat to break down biomass into intermediates, such as gas or bio-oil, which can be upgraded into fuel and other products. One type of thermochemical conversion process is pyrolysis, a method that uses heat to decompose biomass in the absence of oxygen. Here's one example of a pyrolysis conversion process. Wood material, such as forest residue, is a common feedstock for the pyrolysis process. For best results, feedstock particles are less than 2 millimeters in size and have less than 10% moisture content by weight. The process of pyrolysis heats the biomass at moderate temperatures in the absence of oxygen. This produces vapors that are condensed into liquid bio-oil. Char is also produced during the pyrolysis process. Cleanup and stabilization of the bio-oil make it more suitable for storage, downstream processing, and end use. Cleanup can consist of filtering out particulates and ash before the bio-oil is condensed into a liquid. Stabilization typically involves mild hydro-treating, a process that uses hydrogen to remove contaminants such as sulfur, nitrogen, or in the case of bio-oils, oxygen. Hydro-treating occurs with high hydrogen pressures in the presence of catalysts. Oxygen is eliminated mostly as water along with some carbon dioxide. Other processes to remove oxygen are also being examined. Eliminating oxygen creates a less reactive bio-oil with lower acidity. The less reactive bio-oil may be stored longer and is more suitable for use as a fuel oil. The less acidic bio-oil may be more readily accepted into current infrastructure by achieving chemical compatibility with infrastructure materials such as pipes, reactors, and tanks. Mild hydro-treating is usually followed by more severe hydro-treating, which is required for the bio-oil to be suitable for use in a conventional petroleum refinery at several insertion points. Then, using technologies employed by existing refineries today, the bio-oil goes through a hydro-cracking process, which tailors the molecule sizes to be in the desired range for gasoline, diesel, or jet fuel. The Department of Energy is supporting development of innovative technologies that result in higher quality bio-oil that lowers subsequent upgrading costs, allows for longer storage, and improves commercial viability. Advancing these technologies will help bring clean, renewable transportation fuels to the marketplace that can be used in place of petroleum.